At the end of Doctor Strange 2, Charlene Theron's Clea shows up, recruits Doctor Strange, and then they go off somewhere, never to be seen again since the release of the film. They're obviously gonna come back, we just don't know where. But one thing many people speculated about her powers has been confirmed, making her one of the most powerful characters in all of the MCU. So at the end of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, we see Clea shows up. She tells Doctor Strange there's things that she needs help with. They gotta go take care of some problems in the multiverse. And then, as quickly as she explains it, they're gone. And well, we're left with a lot of questions. Well, it's now confirmed that some of the speculations we had about her powers are in fact true and make a significant change to the character in the comics. So first and foremost, we know that her armor is meant for light multiverse travel and that her armor is in fact lightweight for this reason. She doesn't need to wear giant armor or anything like that because this enables her to be able to travel through the multiverse with this armor thus making me think that you probably can't bring specific items through time or something like that but it gets more interesting they also reveal and this is coming at us from the official marvel studios update and the encyclopedia and the books that they put out that she can in fact cut tears into reality and enter multiverses as she sees fit, hence why she's wearing this armor. So now they've confirmed that she has the ability to literally tear apart and tear holes into reality as she sees fit, and she's free to travel across them. This makes her, honestly, insane amounts of power. Just think about this for a second. Doctor Strange comes back whenever, right? If he has Clea, they could just legit be like, hey, can you just jump over here and get Monica for us? Oh yeah, sure, let's go. Like, she has many problems taken care of now, if you really think about it. Like, do they need the help of somebody from Sam Raimi's universe or TASM? She can access that universe and literally just be like, hey, Andrew, come over here. Like, that's pretty insane. A significant change to her power set, but a welcome one, because I think this could help with many plot elements that could uh, take a lot more explaining. It's just easier to say, oh, she has the power to cut through realities and reach into any one of them. Cool, easy enough to explain and show. 